This video is about the DISC crime reporting system. First, how do you set it up? As a DISC administrator, if you want to deploy it for your members, simply go to your admin center and click on I want to manage the website, configure crime reporting. In the pop-up that appears, tick the checkbox for enable crime reporting and enter the police email address to which reports will be sent. From now on, when members complete an incident report on your website for an incident which hasn't already been reported to the police, the confirmation pop-up that appears includes the option to submit as a crime report to police. By the way, the incident report will go to you, the administrator, just as before for processing. If the member decides he or she wants to escalate the report into a crime report, they click on the button and a new crime report form opens. Most of the fields are already populated either from information which the reporter has already entered into the incident report or by the reporter's personal details which are taken from his or her DISC account. So, going down the report, data already entered into the incident report is automatically copied into the occurrence details section. The reporter's details like name, address, telephone number, email, etc. They are all automatically copied into the reporter section. And where DISC already has information about the offender or suspect, such as the name, build, ethnicity, gender, address, etc., that's automatically copied into. It remains only for the reporter to add the necessary additional information. For example, the precise location of the occurrence, a description of any property stolen, if relevant. Usually the reporter will be the only or main witness, but where there are additional witnesses, the reporter can click to add their details too. As for the suspect, height, hair color, any distinctive facial marks or clothing. And the reporter can add additional suspects too. The form also enables the reporter to confirm whether any CCTV footage is available to provide supporting evidence. If so, the reporter adds contact details of the individual who controls the footage and from whom it's available. The reporter can review the information automatically copied in from the incident report and change or add to it if necessary. If the reporter wishes to complete the report at a later time, he or she can click on Save as Draft. A pop-up appears to confirm that the report has been saved in the reporter's My Crime Reports page. Or the reporter can click on Preview at any time, which opens a new window displaying the crime report as it will appear in the reporter's My Crime Reports page. Once completed, the reporter clicks on Submit Crime Report at the foot of the form. A pop-up appears to confirm that the report has been sent to the police, and that goes by email immediately as a PDF attachment to them. Plus, DISC automatically emails the same PDF to the reporter to retain for future reference. As I said, every member that submits a crime report will find it in his or her My Crime Reports page on their website at More My Crime Reports. Only the reporter, him or herself, has access to their own crime report page. No one else can see it. The page displays all crime reports either submitted by the member or saved as draft. Submitted crime reports can be viewed. Those saved as draft can be viewed and also edited to completion or deleted. The contents of the entire page can be output to a comma-separated values file, a useful format for sending data to someone so it can be easily read into their own database. A filter tool can also be used to filter by suspect's name, status of reports, completed or saved as draft, and so on. 